Hey guys, so today I decided to do an early um, April favorites video. April favorites video. Don't mind me, I look a little blunt. I just got out of the shower so I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm wearing my PJs. This is my room by the way, so the lighting's a little funny. It is 20 to 11. <clears throat> I have quite a bit, so I'll stack them here. Um. Alright, let's start with skincare in general. Um, one of my favorites, actually this is a funny story. I went to work last week, kind of noticed that my underarms felt a little funny and then I realized, how in the world does someone forget to wear deodorant in today's day and age? It's on my dresser, I see it every morning when I'm putting my makeup on and I forgot to wear deodorant that day. So I picked them up during lunch and I ended up buying the brand that I really wanted to try, the new Nivea antiperspirants. And they do remind me a lot of the Dove ones, but with fresher scents and not so fruity. So they they smell cleaner longer. And this one is in Energy Breeze with the Fresh Sensation Lemongrass Extracts. Not bad. Really, 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 really like it. Sounds stupid. And on the Nivea track, this body lotion. This is for normal skin. Since summertime's on its way, I prefer something that's not as rich because I would normally be using the the lotion for drier skin. But um, I really like this one and I like the scent. I wanted to try something different but in the Nivea range because I really like their products. And um, yeah, lasts all day, makes your skin really, really soft, and I like it. On a similar note, this is Hum, H U M N H, by Fruits and Passion. I don't know if you have this anywhere other than Canada, but it's the same concept as the body shop and such. I personally prefer the scents at Fruits and Passion but the body shop is a lot more eco-friendly. And this is with shea butter and rose and mosquito oil. I'm almost out, as you can tell. But it smells so fresh and light and relaxing. It's nice to wear this as you're going to bed. Two other skincare items. I fell in love again with this Clinique product. This is their turnaround concentrate. I attend, this is like 60 bucks, all right? I'm on a student budget. So, um, where was I going with this? I'm a little shy because my boyfriend's in the next room. But um, yeah, I was told that I could use this twice a day and this should last me six months. No. One pump is sufficient for your whole face, but I use it once a day on days that I feel that my skin is particularly annoying and I feel that I'm breaking out and that it's not even and, and stuff like that. So I just want to get it back to its natural healthy self, I guess. And I use this for a couple days or a week or two weeks in a row, once a day at night, preferably. And yeah, it just kind of boosts your skin cell reproduction <laughs> so your skin is newer and fresher and lastly I got this in a um, little Sephora kit a while ago and this is Josie Marin's Argan Oil now I do tend to have dry sensitive skin but because it's so sensitive and acne prone I was always really scared of trying this oil on my face but it feels like a dry oil and I'm telling you, it works miracles. It really makes your skin look awesome. So, a lot of skin products this month. After all that, I did mention these two samples, the Vichy um, Aératin in 12 Opal and Clarins Teint Haute Tenue 103. I'm almost done these, sadly, but I try, I try them both 
um, one after the other, just switching them back and forth throughout the month. And I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So I'm trying to debate which one I will be getting full size because the Vichy one is a $29.98 or something, and the Clarins one is uh, 40 some odd dollars, I think. And I should use up the CoverGirl stuff I have, even though I'm kind of not into it as much. But yeah. And because spring is here, I've been brightening my eyes using lots of color. And to add a little bit of sheen, I have been using the Sephora. Um, this is a white color. It looks kind of, there you go, white. In Aspen Summit, which is number 23. And it's very pearly. It looks quite nice. Can't quite see it. Anyway. And last but not least, because I have a 10 minute limit, is Kat Bondi's Memento Mori palette. I always have a hard time opening this. And these are the colors. I particularly use these two, this lavender one and these two. And I use this dark greenish silver as a liner sometimes when I feel that black is too dark. And I twittered that I will be receiving my e.l.f. products soon and I will definitely be making a haul video. I would also like to thank those who subscribed to me because I did not know that they subscribed to me until I decided to finally check my Gmail. And I saw that, so it was really, really nice of all of you. And if ever you have any comments or questions, feel free and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!